Hi friends and welcome to Ca Coffee Chat. Hope you're having your coffee or your tea this morning. I got a couple things I want to talk to you about today because yesterday I, my daughter's here visiting and um, we were chatting and she was helping me sort of organize all my stuff and motivate me. She's really good at motivating me to get things done. But she said she was watching this show about hoarders and she said, well, I think there's some traits that you might have that are hoarders. And I thought, no, um, I beg to differ. And my argument was that, um, you know, before, if you've watched my videos, you saw how I decluttered and purged my house before uh, a year, I was doing that a whole year before I moved here. And I did Denise Lynn's declutter challenge, which is excellent if you can get into that on Facebook, if you are interested in decluttering. I am a collector and I do um, collect things. When I see something I like, I get it. So if I if it's something that maybe I can use, just kind of now I'm saving jars. So is that hoarding? Um, <laughs> but I have this jar that I just decoupaged. First I painted it white, and then I decoupaged it with a napkin, because which I'm going to show you at the end of this um, video. Because I was watching Home Talks, and there was this great hack that I will share with you that I've kind of tweaked it a little bit to fit my own um, supplies. And right now, my sister came up with this brilliant idea for me because she knew I had, I had saved and kept everything that I really, really liked and that I knew I could either use or sell. So the thing that I did was I've been laying everything out on the tables and then as I'm decorating, I'll be staring at a wall and suddenly the picture that's going to go on that wall comes into my mind and I go and hang it up. So that's kind of how I've been decorating. And you can see kind of what I've done here. That's how this one happened back here. And I just stuck a bunch of feathers in it. Let's see if I can show. I'll, I'll take a picture of it because it's not going to. Anyway, um, so that's kind of how I'm, my decorating in this house is evolving to um, be able to use my stuff that I already have. And whatever I don't have, I'll be able to organize that into some of my storage cabinets and put it on my Etsy store so I can sell. Last week or the week before, we were talking about saving jars. And I made that soup, the dehydrated soup. And I'll tell you what, I made that soup with one of those jars, dumped it in a pot with some chicken stock, a can of black beans, and I had some leftover, I had a jar of leftover pizza sauce that was about this full. So I put that in there, let it simmer for a couple of hours, and that turned out like minestrone soup. It was delicious. And I already had all the spices in there, and um, it was very easy. So, you know, on days like this, when it's raining outside, you probably want to have something like that in your back pocket. So, I saw on Home Talk, this lady made this, she took bowls from the Dollar Tree and stacked them like this, end to end, like a couple of stacks, and then the bottom one was like this, just this, and then what she did was she took the solar lights from the Dollar Tree. Now, I've been trying to charge mine for two days, but it's been raining, so I have not had luck getting this charged, which could be a problem. <laughs> but I went to, so what she did was she used a regular lampshade that has the attachment that's down, that has the circular thing so that you can just slip this through it, and then your lampshade is here which is very clever. My lampshades, this, these are just some that I had. I didn't go out and get any, but what I did was I sort of bent them out so that this would fit in there. So it doesn't fit it perfectly, 
What I might do is put a rubber band around that so that it fits better. These were $1.25 and you get two of them and they're probably closer to the size that I need because I'm using an olive jar. So what I've done is I've taken the top of the jar to make my thing. And then I have a top of a broom handle to make my hole. And that just fits on here perfectly. So, it shouldn't be too hard to do because this foam is really pliable. And I just got that one out. So I got the hole made. And then I always keep these around. I use these for everything. And then we're just gonna trim it. And I'll show you just how easy this is. So my daughter said, oh, I think you're a borderline hoarder. <laughs> and um, so I started thinking of all the things that I've been doing since I came up here. And it's like farm life is different than living in the city. And you have a little bit more room usually to keep things. So um, I was doing this before. My sister got me use, reusing my plastic bags and she um, got me doing that when I was living in the, you know, in the urban area and um, just wash, wash them out and reuse them. So I do reuse those for my chickens when I'm feeding my chickens. But um, the other thing I started doing is because, you know, I went to the grocery store and I looked at, I, I get the big three gallon bottles. I fill them up with water and they were 44 cents. Now they're 69 cents a gallon. That's huge, that's a huge change. And then I went to look at the Starbucks coffee. I get the big bags, like the 32 ounce uh, big size of ground coffee. Well, it went up from $17 to $26.99. So I thought, you know what? I was making bread the other day and I'll show you the bread I make. So I've been making loaves of bread. I was making a loaf of bread once a week. And, um, you know, usually you have to cut it in half and stuff. So what I did was I just divided it in half and made two smaller loaves. So they're about this size, which is a perfect size for a little sandwich for me. And it gives me twice as much bread and I'm eating less and um, it's good for everybody. And what I also thought I would do is, you know how you have, you put all that flour on the board and you roll out your bread and you have all that flour left over. I usually take that and scrape it off with my little scraper and throw it in the trash. And I thought, this is what happens when I'm, I wake up early in the morning, the cat's scratching on the door, and I'm coming up with these ideas of, you know, what can I do? I thought, you know, I threw all that flour away, and flour might be harder to come by if they're destroying farmers' wheat fields or not growing as much wheat for the ne in the Netherlands. And um, I just thought, why don't I just start saving that flour and I can reuse it for the next time I roll out my bread. I'll just sift it. And you know, if you're worried about, and so I put it in a little jar that I saved. And if you're worried about bacteria or germs, you can always put it in the microwave for a minute or 30 seconds and just heat it up and kill whatever might be in there. If they're kind of getting this to fit, I'm gonna really get it, uh, give it a nice tight, I want it to have a nice tight fit. Now, there's no on switch, so this has to be charged in the sun. But if you happen to get one of those days, and this has a ridge here, so it's gonna sit right on top of this. And then here it is. And hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully, I'll, and, and once we get that solar charged up, 
we'll have our pretty little lamp that we can bring in if there's a power failure. Let me just get that thing to charge. Anyway, that's all I have to say today. And if you have any ideas about how to save um, or be frugal, please make a comment below and let me know what you do. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Looks like we got a little visitor here. This is Saturn. 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 Come here. Say hi to the camera. Hi, Saturn. Hi, baby. <laughs> He just came and sat down here. <laughs>